Hello friends, my name is Jitendra Bafna. I am a senior Mulesoft architect. In my last video, we have gone through a JCE cryptography using a password based encryption and the key based encryption. In this video, we will going to see how we can use a XML cryptography in your Mulesoft or in your Mule flow. So we need to understand the few things before we jump into a demonstration. The first thing you need to understand like the input to the XML encryption, it must be always in the XML format. It doesn't accept any other format. Okay. The second thing behind the scene, the XML cryptography is also using a JCE key base encryption. Okay. We will see that in the demo. So before that, I will request you to see my JCE key base encryption and the password base encryption video before watching this the first thing you have to generate a key you have to generate a key store so you can use this command key tool uh, generate uh, key and you give the key store where you want to generate it you give you a store the, what kind of store pass you want you can give the store pass you can give a key pass and like you can give a alias aes key and the key size these are the things you can do in my case i've already generated that aes key store dot jck so basically there's a uh, there's a key store or key tool is available in the jdk slash uh, bin in your java jdk slash bin you can you know uh, you can generate from there and up once you have generated that so you can copy this and just make sure it's available in your uh, in your source main resources okay so let me do some few things The first we will use the encryption uh, so i will use the http listener okay i will con it's already like you know a conf i have already uh, set up the configuration running on a port 8081 i will give the path as encrypt then i will search for crypto so crypto xml encrypt Okay, so by default, a crypto module is not available in your Mule palette. You can go to a sir, you can go to any point exchange and you can search from there and you can install it. So we will do some configuration. So module configuration, click here. So key store name. So my key store is AES key store which we have generated. Dot GCK, right? And you can use this as a JCEKS type. There are multiple type of key stories available, but we are using JCEKS. Give the key store password. Now do the symmetric key. You can do symmetric or symmetric key configuration. AES120, give any ID. LS, make sure the LS is matched with this. This is my LS. And now you have to give a key password, which is MuleSoft. So your store password and the key password can be different. But for this demo, we have used the same. So this is my key password. And here I define my store password. So it can be same or even it can be, you know, different. Just make sure when you are configuring, you give a correct password. Say OK. OK, we will see this element path. What is this? So key ID. So key ID is nothing. It's the same key which we have given during the generation of your symmetric key. Is 128 that's that's a configuration we need to do just save it okay I'll just remove all this so I will use instead of in decrypt I will use encrypt and I will just go to notepad and I will copy this XML message paste it here and make sure like your content type is also XML it's deployed send so you can give uh, you can you got the response you know where you can see your whole data is encrypted like your account id name and session all everything is encrypted and this is the encrypted uh, cipher value for your encrypted data okay so what will happen uh, if i give my input uh, other than xml it will not work i will show that also so before that i want to decrypt this message so what i can do is i can use http listener okay instead of encrypt i will use uh, decrypt okay and you can xml decrypt Just. 
Let me remove this flow. So I use the XML decrypt. So I will use the same connector configuration which I have used for encryption. Okay. So just make sure key ID is also match uh, with your symmetric key info AES128. That's it. These are the configuration you need to do for the decrypt also. Just save everything. Or you can define your new configuration also. But make sure it match with your you know uh, encryption details. So if whatever algorithm you use during the encryption, you need to use the same algorithms and everything for the decryption. Now what I will do, I will copy this message. I will use this uh, encrypted message. I will try to decrypt it. Decrypt. You can see this is my decrypted message. Correct. So you can see the decrypted message. Now what I will do, I will use encrypt. Okay, and I will pass some other message than XML. So it will give the error could not create a signed document. So let's consider what will happen. Uh, like you are getting the message as a JSON format, and you want to encrypt uh, that message using XML encrypt. In that case, you can convert uh, that payload uh, from JSON to XML, and you can always encrypt. You, know? you can give that as a input to the JC encrypt in the XML format, and it will able to encrypt that message. Okay. I mentioned like I will show you something. You know, so what is important of that particular field? Element path. Okay. So let's consider I don't want to you know encrypt the complete message. I just want to encrypt this particular SSN number instead of whole message. So you can make use of element path. So this is my message. So account slash SSN. So I can say slash account slash SSN in the encrypt XML encrypt. Just save it. So I will use encrypt and I will just copy this message. I will paste it here. Let's wait while application get deployed. It's deployed. Just send the request. So you can see ID and name is in the clear text format, but your SSN is encrypted. Correct. You can see that, right? So your ID and name is not encrypted, but SSN is encrypted. Okay. So next thing, I will decrypt this again. Copy this, paste it here, and try to decrypt the message. So this is my decrypted message. Right, your SSN number has been decrypted. So like we don't have to do any change at a decrypt. So it or the decrypt uh, model or decrypt component automatically identify which of which fields needs to be decrypted. Basically, I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.